I conducted the neuropathologic examination on Mr. Philip Adams. Philip Adams had frontal lobe atrophy as evidenced by enlarged frontal horns of the lateral ventricles. He also had a large uh, cavum septum pellucidum with atrophy of the fornices. And microscopically, he had very dense and extensive tau pathology in a pattern and distribution diagnostic of stage two CTE. So we have seen this behavior. We've even seen homicidal behavior in other uh, individuals diagnosed with CTE. Uh, it's difficult to say that it alone uh, resulted in these behaviors uh, because usually it's, it's a complicated issue with uh, many other factors. Uh, but certainly we have seen this behavior uh, and um, it, it is in fact not what I would consider unusual uh, in this disease. There were inklings that he was uh, uh, developing uh, clear uh, behavioral and cognitive issues. I don't think he snapped. It, it, it appeared to be a cumulative uh, progressive impairment. He was getting increasingly paranoid. He was having increasing difficulties with his memory. And he was very likely having uh, more and more impulsive behaviors. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world and tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about.